Okay, hello YouTube. So, about seven months ago, I posted a video regarding a Google Nest Hello wired doorbell and how you connect that up with a Honeywell DW915S chime. Seems like a lot of people were struggling um, to, to get that connected up. So what I've done is I've just done a quick wiring diagram, which on the face of it looks a bit complicated, but um, I can talk you through it just in case any of you are struggling to wire this up. So we'll start over here. What we have is a obviously a Google Nest wired doorbell. Um, now, when you open that up, you will have uh, two little screws with some terminals. The way we've actually, or the way I actually connected this um, was with RJ45 Cat 6 cables with a purple sheaf, um, which is fine. And from those cables, you have a blue white cable and an orange white cable coming out of the doorbell. So I've run that under the floor. Um, when our electricians were here, I asked them just to, to run that uh, under the floor. Well, I originally asked them to take it all the way up to the chime. Um, and when they tried to connect this up, it wasn't working at all. So I had to wire this up myself and make some modifications. So I've taken the, the blue white, the orange white, the RJ45 uh, to what I call our media cupboard. Um, and I've joined that with a standard BT telephone cable consisting of two pair and four wires. Inside that is a, a blue cable, similar to what you have here, a white, blue, orange, and an orange white cable. So I've spliced the cable, joined it, and then I've run that into our BG Bell, uh, BG Bell transformer. Well, it's not a BG Bell transformer. It's one that I, I purchased, but you can purchase a BG one or any standard eight uh, bell transformer from Screwfix or um, Tool Station or any sort of electrical outlet. Now, the key thing with this here is on the actual bell transformer, you have output written down um, and then you have a number of pins. So the orange or orange white wire I put into pin one um, and then the blue wire I put into pin four. Now if we look here pin one to uh, pin one and pin four you know gives me a zero volt to a 24 volt. Now you could arguably get this to, to work with a zero volt to eight volt. So pins uh, one and two, because the Honeywell chime actually says that it works on, on an eight volt connection, but this is between zero to 24 volts. So um, that that's how I've got it actually to work. Now you may need to run two separate cables because you want to get the cable from your bell transformer Okay, which is in, in my case is this orange cable here. So I've taken the orange cable down to my Honeywell DW915S uh, backing plate, which has the, the connectors. And then I've also taken from the BG transformer, uh, the cable coming out of pin four, which is the blue cable. Um, and then I've also taken the blue cable or blue white cable coming out of the Nest Hello doorbell up to the Honeywell DW915S backing plate as well. Similarly, I've taken the orange wire from the doorbell, the Nest Hello doorbell, up into the Honeywell DW915S uh, backing plate or, or the connector or terminal, whatever you, you actually want to call this. So you want to get your cables up to this point here. Now, this step here is obviously optional. If you have a run of cables, you know, which is an RJ45, this will work perfectly with those low voltage RJ45 cables uh, as well. And, and some people actually uh, actually do it that way as well. So I've, I've sectioned this out 
into two areas. So this one here is from the doorbell to the bell transformer, and this one here is from the bell transformer to the actual chime. Okay, so the other thing to mention here is the consumer unit that I've, I've got has RCBOs, and inside there is a 10 amp breaker. Um, and we have a brown live cable going into the bottom of this bell transformer. And then we have the blue line in cable going into the bottom of the bell transformer uh, as well. Uh, I should have put this disclaimer in earlier. I'm not an electrician. Um, if you are not confident in you know, any wiring, then you are strongly advised to seek uh, an electrician's advice. But um, there's nothing stopping you from wiring this up on your own as well. So consumer unit, bell transformer, Google Nest wired doorbell and the Honeywell DW915S uh, backing plate. Okay, so assuming you have got to this point and we are all okay, right? So what you want to do is we've now got a, or you should have got in the box, a Google Chime connector, okay? And that will have two sort of connector blocks on it. One has a white cable, the other one has a white gray cable. And inside the actual connector or the terminal plate, you've got some pins. You need to be quite careful with these pins because they're, they're quite fiddly. And when you're moving cables in and out, and I certainly went the first time I was doing this, when I was trying to get my cables in and out, I actually broke the, um, the, the sort of pins. Now, even if you break the pins, that's okay. You can still get the cables in there because there's a little clip in there. So if you push hard enough, the cable will actually stay. So if we take this from, from um, left to right then, the connectors you have are A1, A2, B1, B2, AC1, and AC2. A1 and A2 and B1 and B2 are for your doorbells. Now in this system, you can actually connect two doorbells. If you have a large house, live in a mansion, um, want one in your back garden, uh, for example, you can wire these in, in series. So you can have a doorbell on your front door and a doorbell on your back door as well, which is why uh, you've got A1, A2, B1, B2 as well. I, it may actually be four doorbells. I can't remember, but uh, I'd have to look that up. And then you've got AC1 and AC2. Actually, it is uh, for two doorbells because you've only got two power points. So AC1 and AC2 is to actually get your power from your BG transformer um, and power up the actual sort of uh, chime connector, if you like. Okay, so you m probably want to keep the colors the same, right? So... I've got orange coming out of my transformer, okay? And what I've done is I've taken that all the way from uh, the BG transformer, which is going into pin one, and then I've connected it to the connector block, uh, which is the white gray connector block, uh, which is coming out on my BG transformer. And the white gray cable is going into AC1, okay? The other thing which you want to do is I've got the blue cable, which is this one here in pin four, and I've got the blue cable, which is coming out of the Nest Hello doorbell run up to this point as well. And I've twisted those together. Uh, so one from the Nest Hello doorbell, one from the BG transformer, and that actually goes into AC two okay so the key with this is you're actually putting power and getting the low voltage going um, from the bell transformer which takes the 220 volts uh, uk electricity in and takes it out and transforms it into a lower voltage so hence why i'm taking the blue cable up into AC2, twisting them together, because one is coming out of the transformer, one is coming out of the doorbell, and that will give you the power. And that only leaves you with the orange cables 
to deal with. So the orange cable from the transformer, as I said, I take that up into the connector. So this is what makes the chime actually ring. Um, connect it to the network block and put the pin into AC1. Okay, so that's three cables that we've actually dealt with. Then the last cable to deal with is the orange white cable, which is here. And this is effectively when somebody presses the Google Nest wired doorbell, it will actually send a signal to this box, to the Chime connector. And when you plug the Honeywell DW915S into this terminal plate, it will actually make it ring. Okay, so that orange cable is the wire from the doorbell and I've run that into the network block which is the white network block coming out of the Google Chime connector and then you plug the pin into a one okay so overall if I just zoom in uh, a little bit just give you a close-up of the video okay so we've got the Google Nest wire doorbell as I said you've got some terminals in there uh, with a blue, white, and an orange, white connector, RJ45 Cat6 cables that I've got running there. Taken that into our media cupboard where I've connected a standard BT telephone cable consisting of two pair, four wires, uh, blue, white, blue, orange, and orange, white. Okay, I've then got that up into, or the cables coming up under the floor into a separate area of the house, and I've got a bell transformer so the one coming out under the floor I've got the orange one going into pin one the blue one going into pin four okay and then I've got my consumer unit which has an RCBO 10 amp breaker connected to it you've got the line in which is the blue cable uh, going into the bottom of the bell transformer and the brown cable going into which is the live going into the bottom of the the bell transformer okay i've then continued uh the orange cable from the actual transformer up into the honeywell plate okay and then i've connected that into the terminal block for the bg let's just get that a little bit closer if i can into the BG transformer. Okay, um, and then I've got the blue cable from the BG transformer and the blue cable from uh, the Nest Hello doorbell, twisted those together going into AC2. And then the last one to deal with is this orange cable from the Google Hello Doorbell. That's going into the white connector block from the Google uh, Chime connector and up into A1. And if you connect all that together, that should make your, your, your doorbell operational. Now there's likely to be multiple ways that you can wire this up, but I found this one to be one of the sort of better solutions and the most robust solution to, to get this working. Um, if there's anything you don't agree with or you want to educate me on anything, be that electrical safety or any comments, suggestions, queries or comments that you have, feel free to leave those in the comment box. As always, be nice. Um, I'm not a professional electrician, but um, I'd be keen to get your thoughts on, on, on this wiring. Uh, any questions, give me a shout and uh, all the best and speak soon.